Welcome to I Love Everything, the new show where, um, My personal favourite video game franchise ever is The Legend of Zelda. Nintendo is and always will be my favourite video game company, and their finest gem is their polished franchise, Zelda. One thing that perfectly exemplifies why Zelda is such an awesome game is that when even franchises like Mario have their fair share of duds, no Nintendo-made Zelda game has ever been bad. Well, I didn't like Zelda 2, but still, many critics did. So what better way to honour Zelda than to go over the aspects that make Zelda so amazing? Let's start with the protagonist. While in most of the games, the NES ones especially, Link has little to no personality, his role in the manga is the backbone of what makes them so terrific. He's detailed, he's interesting, and very likeable, and that's best represented in the Four Swords manga, in which the focus is literally Link's four different sides to his personality forming a team. What about the world it creates? While a Zelda evolves, the world around it gets progressively more stunning. The art style is fantastic, and though it went through a clunky phase in the N64 era, it still comes out as one of the best designs for game worlds. My personal favourite is Wind Waker, because Toon Link always has the best look with his cartoon look, being the basis of design for everything around him. When it comes to characters, Zelda really is beyond compare. Besides the recurring characters like Zelda, whose personality changes game to game, and Gandalf, who always does the same well-written villain. The Zelda franchise has a range of hilarious supporting characters, most of which you'll interact with through side quests. And the winner in this category is Skyward Sword. The game is really vibrant and colourful, and with it we got great characters galore amid Skyloft. Well, what about the gameplay? Good point, Batman. That's Batman, by the way. Gameplay is always good in Zelda games. Again, not so much Zelda 2, but what can you do? Obviously, you're just going around swinging a sword. Different enemies require different attacks and the range changes. When I first played Ocarina of Time, I thought the combat system was complex, but now I realise it's fairly simple, which is why Ocarina is my number one in gameplay. Well, you've talked about ones you like, but what is your favourite? Well, Skyward Sword comes a close second, but Ocarina of Time is my favourite. Call me a fanboy as you please, but in terms of gameplay, it's just unmatched. Anyway, I think that Zelda is a franchise unmatched by any other. Heck, I didn't even bring up other factors such as bosses and plot lines. What about the CDI games? We don't mention the dark times. But I thought you loved everything. Well, I don't like you telling me how to run my ship. Anyway. I can't just say factors alone that make Zelda so fan fantastic. I need to definitively pinpoint a conclusion as to what makes these gems so good. Well, I say that, but can anything truly amazing be defined by one conclusion? No. Realistically, nothing can be defined by a trait alone and still be classed as good. And this is a bit of a cop-out, especially for a channel dedicated to saying what I love and why I love it, and why you should too. But Zelda is something I struggle to rationalise my adoration for. Yes, I can say that it's amazing, but I can't put any new aspect on it. But the rest of my videos will be perfectly good at explaining the things that I love. Well, that's a wrap, Batman. But wait, so Aquaman is the worst superhero, and Kite Man is the worst supervillain, and Batman is the best superhero. Who's the best villain? Here I am.